Hey guys, Michael from Car Chemistry. In today's video, we'll be talking about how to calculate the standard cell potential or E-cells of a redox reaction. There's two main techniques in this video. I'll show you the first technique, and then in the next video, I'll show you the, the other technique. To be able to calculate the cell potential, you first need to have a reduction potential table, which we have right here. So let's jump into the problems to calculate the standard cell potentials for this reaction. For the first technique, you need to split the reaction up into two half reactions. So we're going to put the Zn and Zn2 plus in one reaction and then the Cu2 plus and the Cu in the other reaction. So I just brought the reactants down and the products down. Uh, but split them up into two reactions with the elements that are the same. Then next we add electrons to balance the charges. So we're going to add a positive, uh, two electrons here because it's positive two and then we add two electrons that make the zero and the other side zero. And then likewise we're going to add two electrons over here to make both sides zero, so they're the same charge. Then let's identify whether these are oxidation or reduction reactions, and you can determine that by looking at which side the electron's on. This, the electrons are on the right-hand side, that makes it oxidation. Because if the electrons are on the right-hand side, it means electrons are being lost, and that's the de definition of oxidation. If the electrons are on the left-hand side, then that will be reduction. Then we determine the, the potential, or the the voltage of each of these half reactions by looking at the table. This table right here are for reduction reactions. Um, so if we want it for oxidation, then we have to take the opposite uh, value because uh, if, when you flip the reaction, it turns reduction into oxidation or oxidation into reduction. So let's take a look at what the potential for Zn is. And you can see that Zn is over here. Uh, but you can see that this is a reduction reaction because the electrons are on the left-hand side. So that means we flip the reaction, and when we flip the reaction, the voltage flips. So that means the voltage for this is 0 0.76 volts instead of negative, se se uh, negative 0.76 volts. Then for the reduction reaction, we know this is just going to, we're not going to have to flip this reaction because it's reduction. So let's take a look at where the Cu2 plus is, and it's right here. You can see that that matches the exact same reaction that we rewritten down and its voltage is 0 0.34. Then we just add these we just add these together because when you add them together you can see that you get the original reaction and so our final voltage will be 1.10 volts which means this reaction would be spontaneous because it's a positive voltage. Let's take a look at the next one. We'll start by splitting up into two half reactions. So the two half reaction will be MnO4 becoming Mn2 plus and then you also have to add uh, the H2Os because there's O's on one side, so you have to add the H2Os. And then likewise, you have to add the uh, the H pluses. So pretty much I carry all of these down into into one half reaction. And then the remaining one, Fe2 plus becoming Fe3 plus. And then if you don't want to, also if you don't want to balance the number of electrons, you can just take a look at the, the table and match up the reaction. So you can see this reaction is this one right here. So that means we're going to have five electrons here, uh, and it's six, that means this is also a reduction reduction reaction, and you see that it matches up. So that means its voltage is 1.51 volts. Then for the next one, let's take a look at where the Fe, the Fe is. The Fe is over here. Also, I forgot to carry. There's five Fe two plus, and there's five Fe three plus. Uh, you can see that this one is flipped. Actually, that's not. The right reaction. Uh, the Fe3 plus reaction is this one. There are a couple things that are different. Uh, first of all, the Fe3 plus is on the left hand side, but for our, us, the Fe3 plus is on the right hand side. So that means we're going to have to flip the voltage, uh, making it negative 0.77 volts. Uh, also, you can see that this one has there's a coefficient of 5 in these reactions, and there's no coefficients in this reaction. This is really important the voltage only changes when you flip the reaction. The voltage does not change when you multiply the reaction by some number. So even though this there's only one iron on each side, and here we have five irons on this, each side, the, vo the value of the voltage will still be the same. Uh, it's, so, it's opposite because we flipped this reaction. Uh, and then lastly, we have the, the, the electrons, so we're going to have to put five electrons over here. And then when you add them, to, then you can add them together to get the total voltage. That'll just be... 1.51 minus 0.77, so you'll get a voltage of 0.74 volts, uh, which means this this reaction is also spontaneous. So that's how you determine <coughs> the cell potential uh, 
this technique is you can call it the addition, addition technique. So you split it up into two half reaction. You flip the value of the oxidation reaction, and then you just add the two the two voltages together. And just remember, if you have a the voltage does not change when you multiply the, re the half reaction by a coefficient, like in the case here, but it does change when you flip the reaction. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.